All right, guys, welcome back. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use project flowcharts, and this is a good way for a visual reference of what's going on in your project. Now, with these simple compositions, there's not a whole lot going on. We're just kind of adding text, adding shapes, seeing what happens. But when you start really getting into some complex, uh, complex, let me re-say that, um, after effects compositions and projects they will you will have nested compositions you'll have files all over the place and it really pays to be organized so it's why I, I practice that a lot and try to influence you to do that and practice because it just makes everything so much easier when you another thing is when you start adding more effects you'll need to troubleshoot and find out what effects you can disable to preview uh, when you're playing your files back. So let's take a look at the project flowchart. To open that up, uh, just make sure you're inside a composition. And you can use this as a mini flowchart, or you can use this button here, which is the actual composition flowchart. So that's what we're going to see. And so this is our ball, our ball composition. And I dropped our tools composition inside here. Uh, and I'll show you why. So when I click this plus button, it's going to open up everything that's tied to this composition. Now over here, I've got the tools composition because it's inside of here if this was not here we wouldn't see this but what we can do is click this plus button and this shows everything that's in this composition so this is a good way to reference what's going on um, in your project and you can use this which is basically a mini uh, flowchart and you can click here it will open up your other composition so uh, real quick overview and summary if you click this it'll take you into your project flowchart you can see all your compositions in there another thing that you can do is you can change your flow direction so if you want to make it left to right uh, you can also make it right to left if you want to see what's going on from that view and then you can also toggle, toggle between straight and curved lines if you're just really that uh, OCD so uh, this is Really not that too not too difficult of a tutorial. I hope you learned something from this. It's these little features that will help you be more efficient and uh, get started in After Effects with a running kickstart. All right, see you guys in the next one.